Hey guys, what's up? It's Daredom, and today I just want to do with you a fast setup of Elf UI, uh, inclusive the plug-in add-on skins and SCADA. So let's start it. You go. You should go first through the installation progress. It will help you to set up already a few things and uh, to get ready as soon as possible. Read everything and uh, take your prev preferred choices. So after you've done this, UI will reset and then the fun begins. Like I said, this will be just uh, a quick guide how to set it up uh, so you don't need to spend too much time and you just can dive in directly to the stuff what you want to do. So the first thing what you will notice is never no way the micro bar. So press escape, go into elf UI or type in slash elf UI and you will, uh, will get also in. So uh, good, let's go for the first thing what we will Need. Now let's go first maybe with SCADA. Let's set up SCADA. Here goes, here it will go to your preferences because this window we will put it into this little window in the right corner. And now it goes to you if you want two windows for healing and damage for example or only you, the, the damage meter. I want both. So I have also, uh, so I know what my heroes are doing. So we are going to add on SCADA, SCADA and we will create a new window for heal, a second one. Then we go back into Alpha Y, add on skins, embed settings and then you can choose single and you have this one window or dual and you will have two. The next what you can choose here, what I like to do is also, if you are out of combat, you can choose here how many seconds it will need to fade out. Oh, one thing just did is missing because I didn't create the second window. Now I did, there is it. So, okay, great. There's the second window. Now the thing is, can also press this button down here with a right click and just close it by yourself if you want to because we have here the, the second the trade chat uh, in fight usually when you're in dungeons there is no trade chat so you don't need it and also you don't need your damage meter when you're in the middle of Ogrima, right so okay let's get back uh, to elf y and set up the rest so what I like to do first of all uh, also for you guys I like to get a bigger scale of this because I have an ultra wide screen and everything is looking pretty pretty small so I'm going to scale this a little bit up for myself first of all yeah well I'm not totally blind let's take that one it's going to reload this one again so and we are back and, and now we're getting to the interesting stuff. Alpha wine now for the action bars. I promise you don't know how my first action bars did were uh, did look like, but I have had my of course my uh, novel um, action bar, then this one above, and one on the right side. And this what you see here is actually this is the second sidebar because you have normally here two. And this one is that uh, right corner sidebar. And to get the other bars, you go on to action bars and you need to find a bar three, I believe. The left one. I don't know why they, they place it here. It's totally useless for me, but okay, let's go with that. After you need to get your full buttons and also buttons per row to full so you show it in this position if you go with one per row of course you will have it like that one if you want to change that it's totally fine it's just a fast guide how to do this so we don't need the second one 
We have the third one. And I want my right bar back. And this is my right bar. So buttons again to the full. Buttons per row should be told down. And then it's upside down. So we're gonna go to change that with the anchor points. And there we go. There we have it. Um the last thing what we will need is the micro bar. We enable it, but I will do a this mouse over option. So as soon as I get with my mouse over it, it will you will see it. You can then press. Uh, you can get to the buttons. And now we need to toggle them all, so we can set them on other positions. Just forget. Just forget to disable this one. Back to that one, and you can draw it into the position where you want to have it. It's pretty easy with these buttons. You can do like the adjustments if you need them. And luck, I think we're good here. Um, this is actually already enough. You can play with that. It's totally fine, but of course we want to have here maybe a bit nicer looking to everything. First of all, just for you guys to see how this looks like. As soon as I get now in fight, the Skata bars, they come up. Uh, here we can choose very fast damage and this one we will change to... The, to... where is it? Healing. See, I'm just out of I'm just out of the fight, and it uh, it faded away. So great. So the next thing what I don't like to have actually is there is no no portrait, and I want to see what I'm targeting actually because sometimes I'm just tabbing around, and I don't see what is in my target. So we go to L Y again. Did I just forget. I did forget it. Don't forget to. Get your micro bar somewhere where it's maybe better because this position is. Ah, you can lay it there. I don't like it. I put it down there. Uh, Nameplates, unit frames. So, what you can do now in the unit frame section is you can go to the player frames and here you have. You can get into all settings you need. You can change the health, but that's not what we are going to do, right? We want to do a, just a fast one. Portray. Enable. You can do it overlay, or you can do it like this. I prefer it like the same. I'll do with the target. Portray. Enable. And target of target. You can do it also if you like it, but it will be an overlay even if you choose something else. The next thing is with your party members or your yeah weight members. I wouldn't do that with rate members it's like not very good um you can do it you can display the frames here if you are not in the party and then you can go here portray and enable them do them as overlay also i'll just let it like that you can also choose the total uh, appearance of that but if you are a healer actually and you don't like it in this way if you're a healer and you go into the install section. If you uh, choose your healer, they will be in a different way, and uh, that will be maybe much better also for you. If not, you can change it later also. So, party frames, display frames, go away. Okay, and now this is it. This is already a really cleaned up UI with damage meter and everything you need. I just give you one last tip because that's what I also like to do is that is about the whispers or you go and do a new window for your whisper for your guy uh, go out chat and stuff like that or you can do it like this you can go into interfaces social and of course the timestamps I like them and new whispers in a new tab that's it so every time someone will whisper you it will open a new tab for this special person i like that 
This is something... Because I often don't read immediately what people are writing, so it do fade very fast away if someone is spamming or the rate, uh, or the rate is spent full with uh, some uh, kick macros or stuff like that. So this is it for the moment. This is everything uh, you need to know to get it very fast set it up. If you want to play around with it a bit more, you can of course do that. Uh, here are so many settings what you can go through. Like if you don't like this bar down here, okay, just get it away, no problem. Also, don't forget to save your profiles if you have more champs, because maybe you will use it on uh, other champs again. And uh, yeah, totally, I didn't need a new one. I just copy that from eBay and it's fine again. And you see my caster profile is actually this one. So and if I choose to play mage or something else, can just click the caster profile and everything is set it up like at my shadow priest that's you can do a healer profile a tank profile a melee profile that's what i'm going to do with my demon hunter my fury warrior and so on so i hope uh this did help you guys and if you did like it please let a thumbs up there so i know it and uh if you um if you want more uh, content or you want to, to be informed about uh, new content that I bring to you guys. Please subscribe and have a nice one. Have a good day. Bye bye.